So what we're going to be doing in this session is we're going to be going through um, Canva. I'm just going to show you how you can um, just go in there and set yourself up an account and get started and start making yourself some really cool things for your um, designs for your website or for social media posts or anything that you need a design for. This is a really cool, um, a really cool tool. So what you do is you can just click on that, um, that link and here, I'm just going to take it, put it in here and you'll come across this page. What you can do is you can sign up with Facebook or you can sign up with Google, whatever works for you. So I'm going to create a new account. I'm going to sign up with Google. Um, let's see how this one goes. Here we go. So now I've got a new account. It's that easy. You just go boom. You're logged in straight away. You get taken to this page. So um, welcome to Canva. What will you be using Canva for? I guess it doesn't really matter, but you can click here, small business. Okay. So try Canva Pro for 30 days. If you want to do it, for um, the paid version is around $20, $20 a month. Um, if you try it, if you try it for free for 30 days, then you might have to put in your credit card details. Um, if not, you can just go to this button up here and just click maybe later. All right, start your first design. So before we go into that, I'm just gonna click off. Um, can I click off? Anyway, let's just start a uh, Instagram post. All right, so here we have a new post and we can start creating. So here you can see down the bottom, bottom um, right hand side of the screen, there's a little tutorial, create your first design. So one, choose a template, add photos or upload your own. Number three, place the existing text or add your own message. So this is exactly what um, Chris and Aaron did the other day when they were doing your business cards. So here on the left are all of the Instagram post templates that you can use. So, oh, I love this one. Love always wins. So you can um, put in your, use the template there. We can change the background. Um, as you can see, these, these are individual. They've created this background. Yeah, it looks great. Anyway, we can delete that. Up here, we can it's been grouped so we can ungroup it. So there are lots of different colors that they've grouped together um, or I can delete the entire group. Okay. So the stuff, the, the, the writing and stuff is still there. It's just um, the background that we deleted. Okay. Now I can see the writing again. Okay. So this is, this is um, a bit about that, but before we go there, I'm just going to go back, click that home button. And this is going to be your home page where all of your designs are kept. And you can see because they forced us to create a design, it's there um, on the bottom, yeah, in the middle of the screen there. Okay, so here is your, your dashboard. You can type in whatever you want to create. So if you want to create a logo, you can type logo and it will give you the design. And you can just pick up that template. You'll open a new page and here on the left, you have all the different logos that you can create. And if you like one in particular, then you can just click it. It's going to come up and you can just type in whatever, you know, business it is my awesome business. And that can be your logo. You can change some things around. Okay, so let's go back to this tab. So let's take a look here on the left hand side of the screen. This is your side panel. So you've got your account settings, your public profile. It's not too interesting that um, all your designs, photos. So this is all of the photos that you can use. A lot of them may not be free. You might have to pay for them. 
if you get premium, you can get a lot of the paid ones for free. But whatever, whatever you want, say for, you know, interested in, you know, mountain bikes. Here you're going to get a whole heap of awesome images with people mountain biking. If you want to search for chocolate, yeah. And you can just, if you want to, if you only want the free ones, you can click here and just go free and you'll get all the free images. Ah, oh, there's so many. Okay. So let's move on. Now you've got your brand kit. So once you, this is really cool. So once you've figured out your, um, your color, so your main color for me, like our brand colors for me, it was, I know the hex code, it's eight A A C E C. So that was my brand color. Okay. And, um, yeah, you can upload your logo here. So once you create your logo, you, you'd want to put your logo on almost everything and you want it to be really easily accessible, but you have to pay for that, um, that upgrade to get your logo, but that's okay. You can still use your logo. Um, it can just be one of your designs and you can add another color here. Um, 293243, I think that's it. Oh, it is. That's pretty awesome. And I think the other one that I had was like a, was like a white. Yeah, let's just go with that. So say these are my brand colors. Um, they're going to be, that's a color palette. It's a color palette and that um, it'll be easily accessible for me every time that I want that color in my designs. If you're interested in figuring out what your color palette is, um, and you want to you, you want to pick it and you know want to know what colors look good together you can go click on that button and you can get some inspiration from canva but the um the one that i really like see this is really a really nice these colors go well together and they give you a nice mood they give you that mood that you want to create Colors are really, really good for that. So you get warm colors, you have cool colors, you have calming colors, you have different kinds of colors. Okay, um, so I'm just going to go here back to the color wheel, Adobe color wheel, it's really cool. So if you click on this link, I copied it, and open an up, up a new tab and then paste it there. Ooh, it's new. Okay. So here we can find some colors that look really cool. So say my primary color is that, that light blue, eight, A, A, C, E, C. I just type it in, that's the hex. And it's going to give me a bunch of colors that go really well with it. All right. And here on the left, you can see an analogous, I don't know how to pronounce that monochromatic. So I think this is the one that I used for mine. That looks nice. These look nice, more vibrant colors, complementary colors, compound colors, and different shades of that blue. So if my, if my color was, say, uh, let's go something bright. Say this was my, this is the color that I really liked and it stood out and that really represented my brand. Then I, then I could find some other colors by go checking out what colors go with it. Try it. Ooh, that looks nice. Vibrant. Complimentary. Compound. All right. Or if you want to change it, you can just take, grab this little bubble and move it. Whoa. And these are all compound colors. Nice. Oh, I'm going to change it here. Anyway, you can play around with it and see what looks really cool. Um, if there's an image that you have from your, say from, you know, you have a chocolate image. Wait, where am I going? You have a chocolate, chocolate image that looks really cool. So let's go back to our photos. Ah, 
Do we want to save that? How do we save it? Uh, how do we save? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Leave. So we go can go find a find a image that we like. Um, it's free. Um, let's say this one right here we really like. And we can download it. We've downloaded this picture of this chocolate. We go back to the color wheel. We can drag, so I drag that file and I dropped it in. So now it's in there and it's come up with, look, some colors that go really well. So if you've got a picture that has your color branding in it, it will, it will give you, based on that photograph, some colors that will go with it and look really good together. How cool is that? And you can change it here, look bright. Uh, muted so they're a bit different deep so like a deeper red dark more dark none colorful I like the colorful ones actually nice and bright yeah so that's just um, some things you can do to to have a look at you know just to see what different colors that you like that could really represent your brand okay and here, here are just some really cool ideas that Canva gives us. And see, these are the hex codes. So once you know your hex codes, you can just type your hex code into anything and you'll know that, that that's going to be exactly the same color, not slight shade off, not a different, you know, a different kind of pink or a pink that's slightly, you know, you know, red, <laughs> it's going to be exactly that same color. So that's why hex numbers are really important to have. Okay. And the way that we find that, say if we go to um, all of our designs, my awesome business, we edit it. Say this is a color. See, here's my brand colors. Isn't that cool? Okay, so if we want to get a new color that we like, say we go onto the, um, the wheel and it's like, oh, I like this color. What is it? Ah, here it is. So here we go back to the color wheel and it's there. The hex code for this bright red is F22333. So we can grab it there, copy and put it into we just type it there and then we can click it and that's it that's exactly the um that red okay and if we want this one we can copy that bring it into here and this text we can change the color type it in there and click it there we go. And if we want this one, we like that color. We can copy that. Yeah. Okay, so these okay may not look as good as I as I thought. <laughs> it's all good. We can just change it around. So maybe the background could be the black and this one could be red. Maybe that works out a bit better. I don't know, whatever, but that's kind of how you can use, how you can use that. All right. So going back to our, all our designs, you've got your photos, you've got your brand kit. And for you, if you got your new colors, you would put them into here instead of this one. Design school. You can just learn, like you can do a course here 
and learn how you can do do stuff if you want. If you care, if you want to do your own designs and you want to learn how to do it, you can start start this course. And here, look, they've got a free course on um, design. How cool is that? And you can learn from them. And they're going to teach you, um, you know, alignment and fonts and opposites attract all of this cool stuff, color, color combos. You can learn all of it there if you really want to. If you don't want to, then that's totally fine. You can, um, you know, if you have a eye for design, then you can do it all yourself. Um, or you could go find someone on Fiverr or Upwork to do it for you. All right, so create a team. Oh, you don't need to create a team. You can create different folders, but that's also a pro feature, okay? All right, so go back to home. All of your designs are gonna be down here. All right, and so that's your dashboard. That's where, that's what you'll mainly go to. That's what you'll find when you first log into Canva every time all right so playing around with this you can just play like have fun this this design thing it can be super fun and um there are so many things that you can do if you go to this elements tab so here you've got photos we can go mountain bikes So this would be a, pay, a paid for image. So if you want to put that to the back, you've got your um, tools up here so you can position it backwards. This thing, like if it's a, you know, the black background, I can transparent it so I can go like this. So now I can see that picture in the background because I've made it transparent. like that um, elements you've got grids here so this is for like if you want say you want to make a, a picture like a group of pictures together let's create a new page add a new page let's get rid of that you can go like this and now you've got um, different frames so when you have a photo if you all right, mountain bikes. All right, you can have this one. And you just drag it and it's gonna click it's gonna click in. Drag it, click in, drag it, click in. Okay. And then you can just move it down like this. Yeah. And then you might have a cool picture like this, something that you can put up in um put up in your as a social media post with some writing on it. Maybe you could have, you know, two of them, you know, have a picture. The third one has writing. Okay. Yeah. So that's another thing you can do. That's, that's one of the elements. So the grid, the grid element, uh, charts. Yeah. Kind of boring frames. So this is the same kind of, you know, let's create a new page. same kind of thing. I do this with like my, my photos of myself. So say I've got a headshot of me and I wanted to um, just have a picture of my face, of my headshot in a, um, in a circle. Then we can do something like that. Okay. And then I can put that on my email signature down the bottom so people can see who I am. They can see my face. Oh, where'd it go? Let's go back. And if you press some command Z or control Z, then it's, yeah, it's going to go back. And if you want, you can just bring it over the top and move it to the middle. All right. Okay. So there's that one. Some more elements, gradients, Oh, shapes. Shapes are really important. So I use like square all the time. So I might want to make a, a square. I want to color it one of my, my brand colors. 
Maybe I want to put a, a picture in the background. And I'll you know, position it to the back. Maybe I'll transparent this, something like that, and put some text on it. Yeah, so there's things like that you can do with elements and you can still type in, in the shape section, you can go square. Okay, and then you've got all these different squares. All right, this one is free. Okay, how about I put a nice little border on it and then I can change that to my brand color. Okay. Whoa, look at that one. I don't need that one. All right. Gradients. Okay. I don't know what's with that one, but I think if you, okay, we go into all of it. There's all these different gradients, which is pretty cool. They're cool for some stuff. If that's what's in your brand, if that's in your branding and you think that looks good. Change that. There we go something that looks kind of cool like that. Anyway, gradients, lines, you might need them for something, something like that. Um, yeah, illustrations, you've got heaps of icons. You know, say I want to, um, you know, Facebook, I want a Facebook I uh, icon in there to show that this is like maybe a Facebook live. Okay, let's have a look at all these. I'm going to do a Facebook, Facebook live. Or oh, find us on Facebook. You know, that could be a cool one. Or you might be asking for likes, like me, put a little icon in there. You've got basically everything that you need and see so you can change the colors of it really easily to match your branding and how you want it to look you know, live. All right. So icons, so many different things that you can, that you can add and you can just go in and have a look and see what, what looks good what you like and what's going to uh, represent your brand. All right. So text, text is pretty straightforward. You've got a whole heap of templates. So um, graphic designers have put together a whole heap of fonts that look good together. Cause a lot of the time we're not taught what fonts look together. We kind of look at a book or we look at the advertising and they just look good. Well, it's because that they have, people with the eye for design and have studied design have found the fonts that actually look good together and they have put them together in templates for you right here. So like Chris and Aaron showed us the other day, they just picked one that they liked and they, um, they will just copy it and paste it and, you know, figure out what, yeah, just use the one that they like. Maybe this one. Let's celebrate. Happy new year. Maybe I want to, maybe I want this color. Yeah. Okay. So that's the text. And if you want to change the, the text, you can just change the font and there's got heaps of fonts here that you can choose from. This is the size. You can change the size of the font. I made it smaller, bigger. Whoa, way too big. Change the color. Uh, align it to the left, align it to the, align it to the right, align it to center. You can change the spacing like this. Oh, that looks weird. Like that. Um, dot points and stuff. You can change it so that it's lowercase capitals. So you don't have to keep, <laughs> you don't have to write the whole thing again. Um, yeah, you can even transparent the, the writing. And grouping. 
see they have grouped these two fonts together and what we can do is we can ungroup them so now they're separate if you want to group them you just click on one of them you press shift and it's going to select both and you click group and now they work together and you can expand and make it smaller if you want to copy you can copy it and now there's two okay and just delete to delete all right so yeah background there are a whole heap of backgrounds that you can choose if you don't yeah and i'll just go boom background if we don't we can just delete it ah where'd my other background go yeah all right let's take that one back uploads so this is where you saw um christina sharing like grabbing a picture off your facebook off marnie's facebook and then uploading it here so you can just drag if you want drag and drop it that's what christine uh, that's what i usually do i just drag it in here or you can upload an image and then it'll go into your files and you can go in and pick a graphic that that looks really good for you that you really like okay so i can just open up and that was one of the workbooks a workbook cover that i made on canva and then once it's there you can use it in any of your designs i'll delete that and it's just going to stay there but also this is a picture from canva so i'm sure that you can just go into if you wanted that one you can go into photos just type chocolate and it's going to be here somewhere look there it is yeah okay you can go more look there's so many more things you can do so you can connect with pexels pexels is a um, royalty free uh, photo site so it's pixabay um, embed um, and okay don't have to worry about that one if you like emojis you can put in an emoji rolling around with laughter crying with laughter um, Facebook see this is cool you can connect Facebook um, what's my Facebook uh, what's my password I don't know my password for Facebook but if I go into last pass Facebook uh, and I go copy this is a really great um, application as well. So copy my password, paste it in there. Yeah, LastPass, it's a great one. And so now I've logged in, I've connected my Facebook to my Canva and now all of my Facebook photos are going to pop up here. Whoa, look, this is amazing. So I can grab my profile picture and I can put it there. Okay, so if I, you know, take that person away, I want to put my face in that circle. I'd have to get that circle back. Wait, I just do this, put my face in the circle. Yeah. Now I can put that on my email signature or send that when I'm, when you're like speaking at, get, at uh, conferences or speaking somewhere, they usually want a headshot and you can give them that little, you know, a picture of you. Yeah. So how cool is that? You can connect it to your Facebook like that. So now you don't have to go into your Facebook, download it, download the picture and then upload it again. It's already there. All right, let's go back to more. Instagram, you can connect your Instagram account to it as well and get your, your pictures from there and upload them. GIF, Giphy, oh, you can put GIFs in your designs. It just never ends. Okay, it does end, but um, there's so much stuff you can do. Dropbox, if you've got pictures in Dropbox, you can um, connect it there as well. Okay, so once you've got your design and you want to share it, say, let's share this one because it's the only you know, happy new year one that I've done that looks semi-complete. <laughs> um, I'm going to share it. So I can share it with people. 
So I'll put, say I want to share it to, to you want to share it with me. You can put in my email address and you can send me an invite and I can like, I can either edit it and share some, some um, feedback with you. Uh, and can I give feedback? I can add a note. So I can be like, Hey, Zay, this is awesome. However, please move the happy new year down to the middle. So now I can give a note like that. Or I could say, you know, this is my favorite. Save. Or I can give it a title. Happy New Year. Okay. So when it comes to downloading, I can either download it to my computer. See, it's got premium in images. So these are the three images that, that were had to pay. So I can either pay and download it or I can download a watermarked draft. Okay, so if I download it like that, I can either do all five pages or I can just choose. I'm just going to do one. So let me just choose to do page four and I'll download that one. Cool. And now it's downloaded. I can just get rid of that. So if I look, if I open this, look, here it is. That's the picture that I just made. How cool is that? And it's a PNG. You can either download it as a PNG or a JPEG, a PDF. Yeah, but we recommend either a PNG or a JPEG for anything uh, that's for an image. But look at all the other ways that you can publish it. If you want your some advice from this on Slack, look, they have a publish on Slack button and we can just click on that. We'll connect it to Slack. This is so cool. Know your workspace, your, uh, find your workspace. So it is, uh, what was it? It's online business liftoff dot slack. Yeah. Okay. Online business liftoff. Continue. All right. Oh, I've already connected. Anyway, it's really easy to connect because my account's connected to another, um, another one. I'll show you my, my other account, which I have. It's already, it's already here. So this is all the stuff that I've done before. See, I created this little um, Slack guided tour and I made it as a little cover picture for my, for a video that I, that I created for the guided tour. So what I can do is I can publish it. I can scroll down and I can publish it onto Slack. I want to choose a channel and I'm going to share it onto feedback. Okay. So feedback, um, I'm going to say, um, test because this is just a test. Hey, can you please give me feedback on this? I'm going to change it to a JPEG and I'm just going to publish. This is so cool. Canva is really awesome because they just keep updating. They keep integrating with other, with other um, like programs and software. And if we go back, we can go into funnel. Oh no, sorry. Feedback. And look, Hey, can you please give me feedback on this? How cool is that? And they can have a look, we can have a look at it. We can download it. We can star it. We can share it. We can comment on it by, you know, go, putting a thread and we can say, Hey, this is awesome. All right. But because I don't really want anyone's feedback on it now, I am going to delete message. Okay. All right. So that is Canva.
where am I? So that's Canva. I, it's a really fun program and it's super easy to use. It's really intuitive. So go in there, have a look around, have a play around. Um, if you want to go to the design school and learn some cool stuff, you know, about fonts and they're really short. Look, this one's only a minute 50, so it's not going to take you too long. You might be able to finish that entire course in the entire time that it's taken me to give you this introduction to Canva. So it's very quick and snappy. Have a go. Um, it's been a pleasure to share with you this um, Canva tutorial and we'll see you very shortly. All right, take care. Bye-bye.